Hello everyone, I am your host Melee Wizard, and welcome to Let's Play Little Samson. A neat little platformer for the NES. It's kind of unique, especially for its time. And just, I'll just continue on. And this does have a password feature. So, I really don't feel any qualms about safe stating it. Well, but I usually do that between videos anyway, so. Anyway, let's just. And easy versus normal. I think I'm gonna do normal here. So, one thing that makes this game unique is that we have four different characters here. We have Samson, uh, I believe Kakira, I'm getting the names from Nintendo Power, uh, Gam, and Ko. Who knows how long I'll remember these names, but yeah, we got human, dragon, golem, and little mousy thing. Uh, each of these is basically a tutorial in all but name about basically showing you what each character can do. And we might as well just start off here with Samson. Yeah, and so Samson has decent jumping and. He just fires these bells straight forward, and pretty much everyone's attacks are bell-based, even whether they look it or not. And also, Samson can hang on to ceilings and climb up walls. But Samson is restricted to firing straight forward. Whoa, that dang it. And I'm also down to one health. Which is not good. I know there's random health drops. Heck, there's random uh, health max ups, too. Ah, dang it. Yeah, because you have to. It's almost like wall jumping, and. Okay. Ah, uh, did I... did that stay there? No, it didn't. Okay. But the enemies don't respawn either. What? Dang it. Oh, I thought I was at one health. Apparently not. And... oop. Oh, Ah, and there's the health max up. Oh dear. And it, I, you can duck so you can uh, hit enemies that are down low. Ooh, got another one. Yeah, the fact that you can get max health ups from random drops is definitely a nice thing. It's just a matter of actually getting them. Uh, do I want that health? I kind of do want that health, actually. Because yeah, while you do get max health increases, it doesn't refill your health. Woo. And there we go! Because in the opening cutscene, those pigeons carrying the scrolls, they were delivering it to these four characters. Because they are the heroes of this, obviously. Alright, so just move on to Kakira. So Kakira has basically fire that fires parab is parabolic and he has a hover. And one thing that you might not be, might not be apparent here is that Kakira is not subject to uh, ice physics, which apparently will be relevant at some point, I guess. Oh, hello. And gotta be careful of these tornadoes. They won't shove you off, but yeah, it'll definitely. Definitely a chance for them to take you somewhere you don't want to go. 
<laughs> yeah, so Kakira is definitely ah, well suited to killing enemies higher uh, up in the air. Oh. As a potion that I I have played this game before, but I haven't beaten it, and I even now I'm still not sure how to actually use those potions. I can only presume that it's like an emergency full heal. But uh, so I've had oh a one up, nice. I've never actually figured out how to use them. And there's Kakira stage done. It's nice that I'm getting one or two uh, health ups along the way too. That is nice. And now it's for Gam. I believe, yeah, his. It looks like he has the weakest jump. He has the shortest range, but he can fire in, in four, all four directions, which is unique. And he also has a lot of power to him. So if you just want someone for brute for uh for like brute strength, uh, this is your guy. You just have to be good at timing your shots. And he also starts off with the most health. And another thing, he is immune to spikes. So if you're in an area with a lot of spikes to him, in him. That is a good way of dealing with that. Ooh, more health. Good. And, and if you get enough health, you actually have two columns of it. And I believe the maximum is 16 for each character. Give me more help. No, no, oh well. And that's Gam stage done. And now for KO. KO, for one, has the least amount of health, which considering he's a mouse, that makes perfect sense. And mouse, the mousey here operates pretty much like Samus's morph ball. He drops bombs. And, uh, ooh, a potion. And he, like Samson, he can go up on walls and ceilings. So just think of it like Morph Ball with, with, uh, Spring Ball and Spider Ball, I guess. And... The bombs do have a bit of horizontal spread to them, so you don't have to have them be like right on top of you. Yeah, be careful of the spikes, but since you can go up on the ceilings, it's not really that bad. Ooh, thank you. Ooh, also thank you. Ooh, another a potion that's just lying there. Uh, do I want that though? Uh, yeah, sure, I can get there, sure. Or maybe, although from the looks of it, you can't. Each character, I think, can only have one potion at a time. I'm definitely gonna have to look into it and see exactly how to use those things. And so everyone has gathered up together, and Kakira is not very agreeable. And so boss fight. <laughs> Thank though, thankfully, Kakira is subject to the same physics as the as the rest of us. 
And if I can keep him stun locked, well, there we go. Are you agreeable now? Good. And there's our password. Alright then. And now that we have all four characters together, I can switch between them whenever I want. And... Oh yeah, the music changes. Depending on which character you're using. That's... fine. Ooh. And... As is my want, I tend to... Whoa, hello. I tend to folk give my health up to whoever has the least at the time. Ah, darn it. So if I get enough, if I find another potion... Oh, another one up. And I think, yep, one uh, lives is basically one pool for lives. So it's always a good idea to kind of make use of your character's ability, of each character's abilities, just using whatever needs to be used. Uh. Thank you. Ah, more health up. Ah! Dang it, really. Um, what's over here that would be worth my time? Not much, really. Um, is there something hidden underneath here? No, it doesn't look like it. That is kind of odd. Oh, and I can destroy their shots, too. Good. Oh, wait. Why didn't it... So, uh, the last couple health max-ups I was giving them, uh, KO didn't really do anything. I'm wondering why that is. Uh, you know. You're the only one that didn't have one, might as well. Yeah, you, you got that one. Hmm. Maybe KO's max health is 6, after all. I guess that would make sense for a mouse to have not a lot of health. But yeah, Samson's health is looking kind of low. And we're fighting the big... The big wizard guy right off the bat. Uh, you know what? Yeah, I think this will work well for... Whoa, hello. Oh! I didn't... Wow! Didn't know you had a charge shot! Dang! Oh, jeez. 
It ain't over! Dang! You do a lot of damage, but you do a lot of damage back, too. Oh, uh, you know what? There we go. The Kakira was running a bit low on health, so I felt the switch was necessary. Oh my, where the heck am I now? Okay. Uh, this place, ha this game has multiple paths based off of what you do and how much stuff you have or whatever. I really don't know what is involved, so I guess we'll all discover that together. And I think with that introduction to things, I think I'm going to have shorter videos for this, just because this game isn't really that long. So I guess until next time, this is Melee Wizard, and have a nice day.